are today getting here getting ready for the VEX Robotics World Championships. We've got five teams from Davis High School that are, have all qualified to go and are going to the World Championships. Our scrimmage basically is a, a time for us to prepare and work out all of the kinks and all of the bugs and make sure that everything is running like the fine-tuned machine that it is supposed to be. Basically what our program is, what we are doing, what we are working to achieve is we're competing in a game. Every year the Robot Education Competition Foundation comes out with a new game for us to play. They come out with that game at the World Championship. Once we get that game, we spend the next, from April until the end of February, working to compete at our state championships. And at that state championships, that's when we qualify and we know whether or not our teams are going to qualify for the world championships. So this year, we have to stack these cones on top of larger base cones and then put those base cones into a zone and each zone is worth a certain amount of points and then each stacked cone is worth a certain amount of points. So at the beginning of the year what we do is we determine what type of robot we want to build that's going to best be able to do that, to be able to stack those cones and be able to pick up those mobile goals and then throughout the year we work on making that robot and then perfecting it. We have two portions of the competition. We have qualifications and eliminations. During the qualifications, we are teamed up with two robots versus two robots, two on the red side, two on the blue side. In qualifications, you have no control over who you're teamed up with or against. So you could have a really hard match schedule or a really easy match schedule. At the end of qualifications, when we have our ranking, then you get to pick your teammate for the rest of the day. So it's really important not only to have a good robot and to be a well-rounded team and to have your mechanisms and everything working correctly, but it's also important to have good teamwork abilities. For our robot today, we're working on our Auton. We adjusted our robot, so now we need a whole new Auton. So our autonomous routine is a routine that is done without user control. So. Um, our driver doesn't even need to touch the remote or anything and the robot will move up on its own. The group of kids that we've got going are absolutely amazing. I've got kids that have been doing this for, for five, six years that have seen a lot of robots have put in countless hours that, that are here at the school waiting at my door when I get here at seven o'clock in the morning and I, I have to kick them out when I leave at the end of the day every day. I try and spend as much time as I can here dedicating myself to this robot, helping to improve, trying to qualify for Worlds, and now we're qualified for Worlds, so now we're spending even longer here. Back in 2015, my older brother, Isaac, he competed in robotics at Davis High, and that was the year that Davis High actually won the World Championship, and that was my brother, and I helped him out on that team, and that's what really got me interested in. So when I went into high school, the year after that, I joined the robotics team. These kids are, are learning programming at an extremely high level. They know how to make a robot accomplish an extremely complex task through code. They are learning very high level mechanical mechanisms and gear ratios and ways to use all of that stuff. A lot of my students will, will do stuff that's above my head and get into the physics of it and determine how much they need, how much weight they need to cut off of their robot so they can get it to speed up how much they want it to speed up. For the last three years, we came in first place in the world, then fifth, then sixth, and we've got enough teams this year. We're, we're hoping and our goal is to get multiple teams into the top six in the world.